Hey guys, welcome to Bonsai and Gardening Zone. People often think that strawberries are too exotic or too tough to grow at home. Well, if you watch this entire video, which includes everything you need to know about growing strawberries and follow these easy steps, then you can also grow your own big sized organic strawberries at your balcony, garden or terrace. Guys, homegrown strawberries are organic and taste unbelievably far better and sweeter than market bought ones. Strawberries are an excellent source of vitamin A, C, E and B complex. Strawberries are a rich and diverse source of antioxidants. However, what's less well known is that the leaves connected with strawberry and stalk called calyx contains antioxidants and it's edible too. Guys, strawberries love sunny spots and need at least 6 to 8 hours of full sunlight to thrive. You can grow strawberry plants in plastic as well as earthen pots, but make sure it has a soil depth of at least 8 to 12 inches to give the plant's root system space to grow. Its root spreads horizontally and doesn't go very deep. So if you are planting more than one plant in a container, then maintain around 10 to 12 inches of distance. You can also grow strawberries in small hanging baskets if you have space problem. But as I learned from my previous experiences, to get more yield and big size strawberries, I suggest to use at least 13 inch earthen pot or rectangular 24 inch wide planter to grow two plants in each. Also in big pots, strawberry plants continue to be productive for at least two to three years. Strawberries are available in nurseries from the month of December. While purchasing strawberry plants from nurseries, Select only matured healthy plant with maximum number of lush green leaves and bigger crown. Make sure these plants are disease free and of good variety. As far as diseases in strawberry plant is concerned, these are hardy plants and hardly catch diseases. But you should spray neem oil 5 ml per liter once every 15 days to protect from aphids and mites. So when is the right time for strawberry plantation? Well, it depends upon where you live and what variety you are growing. But the ideal time is just before the winter starts, between November to December. Fertilizer for strawberries should be balanced and PK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. If the fertilizer is applied correctly, it really doesn't matter whatever the fertilizer is. A 10-10-10, a 15-15-15 or 19 19 etc. Just as long as the numbers are the same. Liquid fertilizers gives quick and best results. I mix 3 gram of NPK 19-19-19 in 1 liter of water and spray on the plants. And also pour same solution 250 ml in each of the pot once every 15 days. Guys, the better the soil, the better your plants will grow. Strawberries loves fertile, well-drained and crumbly soil. Now let's prepare perfect potting soil for the best results. For potting soil, we need 40% garden soil, 20% cocoa peat, 10% cow dung compost, 10% wormy compost, 10% sand, 5% vermiculite, 5% perlite, 2 fistful of bone meal, 2 fistful of neem cake powder or neem khali, one fistful of slow releasing fertilizer or organic soil rejuvenator. This will provide all micronutrients like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, magnesium, calcium, zinc, iron, manganese, copper, boron, molybdenum, and chlorine. One tablespoon fungicide of any type. I'm using contact fungicide. Guys, vermiculite holds micronutrients and perlite holds moisture. So you can get these from your local agricultural shop. But if you don't have perlite or vermiculite, don't worry, it's not necessary. If you don't have soil rejuvenator as well, you may mix one tablespoon of DAP. Now I'll mix everything very well. Now I'm using this rectangular 24 inch long, 9 inch deep and 7 inch wide planter. I'll grow two plants in each planter. When berries start to grow, they will hang downwards. Now I'm putting some coco coir on the bottom holes. It will act as a mesh and don't let the soil drain off. I'm filling around 1 inch with gravels. Now I'm filling half of it with soil mix. 
Guys, have a look at these plants. These are around one month old with healthy and lush green leaves. I bought those from my local nursery for 40 rupees each. Remove all the dead leaves or weeds. This plant has a nice root bowl. You can lose the bowl from the bottom carefully. It will help roots to spread fast. Now fill the pot to the level of crown. Not higher, not lower. If you cover crown with soil, it will rot and your plant will apparently die. Now I've prepared all pots. I planted few in rectangular planter and some in 13 inch earthen pots. Now water it throughout for the first time. Before plants start fruiting, it should be merged with straw or wood chips to keep fruit dry and clean. If fruit keep in contact with soil, it will get rot. Also mulching the soil surface between plants will maintain the even soil temperature. Strawberry plants can be grown from runners. Established mother plants produces runners with this small butt at the end. Runners should be removed unless you want to propagate new plants. The more runners a single mother plant has, the more nutrition will drain off from mother plant. Now I'm going to plant lower half of this bird in a small container. I'm applying a plastic clip to hold it in its place. After one month, this runner has developed a nice root system. Now it's the right time to cut this cot connected to the baby plant and a new plant is ready to be potted in a big pot. See, it's already blooming and will start fruiting in a month. Guys, it's been a month since I potted them. We have got here some red ripe berries. Right now, plants are full of green berries and flowers as well. Now, this is the result after two months. Look at these amazing ripe strawberries. Plants are now on their maximum fruiting. See, these pots are full of perfectly ripe and big sized strawberries. Wow, I can smell amazing strawberry aroma. Its fragrance perfumed my terrace garden. These plants love moist soil, but not soggy. Overwatering encourages root rot, especially in colder days. Avoid watering on foliage, flowers or fruit. Wet fruits rots very easily. In winter, water only when around half inch of soil gets dried. After fruiting gets over, you can renovate plant for next year. Trim off their old leaves, making sure not to damage the center stalk of the plant. You can also propagate strawberries by seeds. You can easily pick seeds from mature fruits by the help of tweezers. Sun dry the extracted seeds for at least 24 hours and saw the seeds, though success rate is very low. These seeds can also be preserved for the next season in an airtight zip pouch. You can mix a pinch of fungicide in it. Pick strawberries only when they are bright blood red all over like this. Trust me, you can never get such tasty and sweet strawberries from market. Hmm, amazing, tastes heavenly. Well guys, that's all for now. Hope you find this video helpful. Please like, share and comment on this video in comment section. Consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of new videos. Thanks for watching and keep on gardening.